and welcome back to my channel. My name is Mari, if you're new here, welcome. And today I'm going to be talking all about my beauty MCs from January till April. So all the makeup and beauty products that I have used on that period of time. So let's get into the video and let's see what I have used up and what I think about them. Let's go. So let's start with a little disclaimer. I think you have already saw that I have these red patches all over my face and also my neck is super super red. My atopic skin is really bad at the moment but I still thought I want to film something so don't mind all of this redness, I'm dealing with it but it's getting better but at the moment it is really really red so that is what these red things on my face are so let's start with the first product. So the first product is from Biocell and this is their new Bioplex Bonder conditioner so this should be kind of something like Olaplex but a lot more affordable and this was actually okay nothing special nothing bad it was just an okay product and this is Finnish brand I live in Finland so that is really good but you kind of can't compare any other products to Olaplex but this was okay then the two next products are from Innersense and these are these kind of like travel size. So these are hydrating cream hair bath, so shampoo and hydrating cream conditioner. And these were actually really, really good. The shampoo doesn't foam up that much that normal shampoos do because this is more like natural, organic, that kind of product but it really gets your hair clean, so that is really, really good. And the conditioner also was really good, so I have been really liking this, and these are something that I could be buying in the future full size, but these are more, more expensive, but they have really good ingredients. Then the next product is something that I have been using for the past year. So this is Four Reasons Healing Shampoo. The brand is Finnish, so I love that. The shampoo is actually really, really good and it is more affordable, so I really, really like this. But they have changed their packaging and their products, so I don't know if they have this anymore. But this was a really good shampoo. But I think I'm going to go more towards like the Innocence products in the future because I want to use something more natural. Then I thought I should put this out there. This is a sample, but still this is Sensai Cleansing Balm. And I don't know what it is with Sensai products. Every single time I use any of their like makeup remover, face wash, that kind of products, they break me out. You can see that I have these big pimples around here and that is because I used this for like five times in a row. So I don't know what it is with Sensei cleansing products but I just can't use them because I get huge pimples so this is definitely a no for me. Then I also used this full size cleansing product, so facial wash. This is from Grown Alchemist and this actually has better ingredients than normal skincare has. But still the ingredients are too harsh for me and I got a lot of pimples from this because my skin is so sensitive, it's just not for me. Then the next product is a moisturizing product that has become one of my absolute favorite uh, products and this is Pura Beauty, that is the brand, Perch Sap Mist, Finnish brand, made in Finland, absolutely love that and this product is just so so good. I have been absolutely loving this and I think this is going to be something that I'm also going to be buying in the future, kind of change things up and use this and the Olivia Klein toners that I love. So this is definitely something that is going to stay in my routine. This is definitely one of the products that I'm going to be buying in the future. 
Then I also have a serum from Grown Alchemist. This is their Detox Serum. And th this was okay, but nothing that special. This wasn't maybe the best for me. I think this would be much better if you are more mature. This would definitely have a lot of benefits then for your skin. But at the moment for me, this is not the best product. Then I also finally used up an eye cream. I've been using this for like, I think like eight months at this point, and finally this ended up. So this is Natura Siberica Illuminating Eye Care Eye Cream. And this was okay, nothing like that, that special, but this did its job and it was okay. So I'm not going to be buying this in the future, but it definitely was an okay product. Then I also used one like special care product. So this is from Kix and this is their 2% BHA treatment, even skin surface and unclog pores 10 minute mask. And this kind of didn't suit my skin. It was too harsh and I kind of don't need this kind of product. So I won't be buying this in the future because I don't need this kind of product. So this was a no for me. Lierac SPF 30 face sunscreen fluid. This was okay, but the scent is really, really strong. So I don't prefer having perfumes, perfumes on my skincare products. So I won't be buying this in the future because of that. But this did its job, but I say no for perfumes. So that's why. I won't be buying this in the future. Then I used up Malu Witch Wilts, maybe Malu Wilts Multi Vitamin Gel. So this is kind of like a light moisturizer. And this was actually really good. I really enjoyed it, but this doesn't have the best ingredients. I'm all about ingredients when it comes to skincare. I don't care about the brand. I don't care about the marketing claims, what it says on the front or in the packaging. I only care about the ingredients because that is the product. The ingredients is the product. So I won't be buying this also in the future because it doesn't have the greatest ingredients, but this definitely was something that was great for my combination skin that gets oily. This was a more lighter weight, but it was still moisturizing enough. Then I also finally used this up. So I'm trying to use up a lot of my like not that great skincare up because I'm trying to go more towards only using the great, great ingredient skincare. So I finally used this up and this is Lancome Hydra Sen Nuit. So this is their anti-stress moisturizing night cream. And this is heavily perfumed, like heavily. And this also has color in it. The cream is actually pink. So I don't need perfumes and color on my skincare and this also didn't have great ingredients. So definitely I'm going to say no for buying this in the future, but I'm happy that this is now gone and out of my collection. And then comes one of my absolute favorite moisturizers and that is Olivia Klein Hydra Lotion. This is definitely my top one favorite day and night moisturizer. I love to use this as a day and night cream in the summertime and in the wintertime I love to use this as a day cream and this just has the best ingredients that you can possibly think of when you have like combination skin, your skin is really sensitive, you need something soothing. This has the best of the best ingredients. The brand is also finished so I love that and I just Love this and I have bought maybe like 10 bottles of this. So this is definitely one of my absolute favorites. So if you haven't tested out Oliver Klein's products yet, I definitely recommend you to do so. So definitely yes for this. Then also another top one product for me. So this is my absolute favorite face oil. So this is Bomb Bomb's Little Miracle Rose Hip Serum. I've done a whole dedicated video on this product. I will put it over here so you can check that video out. 
So this is a really excellent uh, face oil for combination skin or aging skin or if you have problems with blemishes and your skin clogging up this is so so good for that so this is definitely my top one face oil and i'm going to be buying this for the rest of my life i think so then i also used up a cognac sponge so you should change these like every three to six months so this is clean by ecovista bamboo charcoal cognac sponge and this was actually really really good i have been really enjoying using cognac sponge lately because they have done great to my skin i haven't been using them now when i have this as a big skin problem but before that i have been really really enjoying using these and they really help to cleanse out your skin really really well yes for this so that was all the skincare and then i have this also, so this is Bispoin Moisturizing Sun Lipstick with Aloe Vera and with SPF 30. I also used one of these on my last empties because I have so many of these. So this is definitely my favorite lip balm. I love to use this because this has SPF in it. It's really moisturizing, it feels really good and it doesn't smell strongly. So I've been really, really loving these for years and years. Then I still have one product and three makeup products. So the one product is this. So this is Nivea Refreshing Cleansing Wipes. I don't use cleansing wipes or any kind of makeup wipes anymore. I've been basically using this for swatches and cleansing my tables when it's full of makeup because I don't want to put these ingredients that are in these wipes on my face. So definitely no for these. These are so bad for the environment. The ingredients on the wipes are really, really bad for your skin. So definitely no for cleansing wipes. And then I have three makeup products left. So the first one is USO Hair Sexy Pulp Mascara. This is one of my absolute favorite mascaras. This just makes my lashes look so, so good. I will put a picture up in here where you can see how this mascara looks on my lashes. I have really long lashes, so this really makes them look really, really good and it doesn't transfer under my eyes and it lasts really, really well. So I've been loving this mascara for years. Then I also finally used up this. So this is Rimmel Brow This Way Brow Styling Gel. And I can't get the end of this out of here because the brush doesn't go all the way. So that is really annoying. So this mask kind of like an okay product. It doesn't do like amazing on putting your brow hairs where they need to be, but it does okay job. So I've been kind of okay with using this, but it's not the greatest. And then the last product is a really, really good product. So this is kind of like a mini size product of the Lanco Monsieur Big waterproof mascara so this is the mascara that i'm wearing today and i will also put a picture up in here where you can see like how curly and like stand up this makes my lashes look so i have been really really loving using this and a lot of people have asked what mascara are you wearing because this really makes my lashes go like this and stay up like this the whole day and it makes my lashes look so much more longer and voluminized so this is definitely a good product but i won't be buying this because this isn't cruelty free so in the future i'm not going to be buying this so those were all the 21 empties that i've been using up from january till april so hopefully you got some product tips and inspiration from this video and got some good product recommendation like these two products and that is basically it for this video so if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet hopefully you will do that at this point and hit the thumbs up button and hopefully we will see on the next video bye